What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and it's not very often that I get to make a video this significant, this monumental. A leak has occurred about the iPhone 8 that tells us almost everything we need to know about it in the simplest terms, and it originated from Apple itself. Apple has leaked the iPhone 8. That's a headline I personally never thought I would actually make. So let's go ahead and get into all those details. Not only did they leak the actual design of the iPhone 8, they also reference a bunch of features that have been rumored and now we actually know they exist. So I have so much to talk to you guys about in this video and I'd like to thank the developers for making it happen. The developers that have been exploring the HomePod firmware that we talked about in my news segment a couple days ago and inside of this firmware, they found more and more reference to the iPhone 8. Now, a developer from Brazil is responsible for all of these discoveries. On Twitter, he goes by Rambo. So while exploring the HomePod firmware to try and get some more deductions, features about the HomePod, inside he found several references to a mystery device. After doing lots of exploration, first he saw references from Touch ID to Pearl ID, and we'll get into that in just a second, but the face unlock feature was referenced on this firmware, which is a bit strange. So he started doing a little bit more digging, a little bit more discovery, and he says that there were security in place. It's not like Apple just you know allowed this to be found that easily. There were measures in place to prevent you from being able to access that as it wasn't a consumer grade firmware that all of us have access to. But anyways, he was able to decrypt and actually extract several images. And the first one that he found he said was shocking. I mean, this is right here via Apple's very own firmware released by them is the iPhone 8. It's a very simple glyph. It's just an outline of the display on the iPhone. It's supposed to be part of some sort of little animated image. But in the simplest terms, Apple has just leaked the iPhone 8. Not willingly, of course, but it's been found in a firmware that it released. It's a coincidence beyond any other. I mean, at this point, we've seen so much reference to this type of display, the one that wraps around and goes all the way around the phone. It's beautiful. I mean, simply put, it is stunning. And I'm beyond impressed that Apple is actually doing it to this year. So that is amazing. It's been discovered in Apple's firmware. Apple literally leaked their very own design. And this is seriously monumental for Apple, for something this big to leak. There will definitely be people that are going to be getting fired. I don't know if this was something intentional, something that Apple didn't really care about encrypting or just overlooked. But wow, I cannot believe we have this today. Now, if you doubt this, uh, for example, the MacBook Pro with Touch ID was actually leaked in advance of its release in a very similar fashion. A firmware, there were information pieces found inside that revealed that this would be happening. So it's not something that hasn't happened before. And the scale of this leak is like the iPhone 4 uh, that was lost in that bar, something that Apple just laid out on the table and it's no denying that it's true. Now, while working on projects, Apple usually does have internal code names for these projects. They've had them for the original iPhone, it went as Acorn. Now for this new one, the actual reference to that code name is D22. No one knows what it means, but in the case that stuff does get leaked, get out, it doesn't reveal the actual name of the product. So the new iPhone, whatever it'll be, we don't know the real name from this leak, but it is codenamed D22. Now, while doing more digging, he explored the biometric kit. This is the area that handles Touch ID payments for the iPhone, unlocking it's getting into your phone. So inside, he found a lot of references to Pearl ID in the same place where Touch ID was. So from this, basically, he deduced that Pearl ID is Apple's code name for the actual Face ID unlock system. And yes, we talked about it in my last video. Face ID is likely to be the name of the new unlocking system using the facial recognition. But he found so many references that it's hard to deny that Pearl ID or Face ID will be coming to the iPhone 8. And it's just everywhere throughout the firmware where Touch ID is, Pearl ID was found there as well. And after doing more digging, the very same developer may have given us hope that Touch ID is not going the same way as the headphone jack. It may stick around for the iPhone 8. He shared a couple more areas of the code where Touch ID is still being referenced right next to Pearl ID. So you can either use one or the other, but he says that Pearl ID cannot be used to make Apple Pay work. And just like it was predicted earlier, there were many analysts that actually said that Touch ID cannot be replaced by Face ID for payments right away. Banks need to be insured of its safety. It basically needs to prove itself over time. And we're just scratching the surface here on the references. There's so much found in this code. I'm very surprised Apple actually tagged and named everything. So the next one is infrared. The iPhone 8 again is confirmed to have infrared sensors as there were many references in the HomePod firmware detailing. So, and right next to Pearl ID. So those two are 
Force and Animus, they are working together. And that means the iPhone 8 will work at night. You won't need direct sunlight or a very bright environment in order to scan your face. Just another reason why it may effectively replace Touch ID down the road. Although I wouldn't want it to convenience wise, it definitely could be capable of this, especially with some infrared sensors. And the actual display of the iPhone 8 was referenced in this firmware, and it will be getting a significant upgrade as well. Yes, it'll look cooler, have that full frontal screen display, organic LED technology, but now we also know it'll be getting a massive resolution bump as well. So in the usable screen space, 5.15 inches, it'll have a resolution of 2436 by 1125 pixels. That's huge, actually. It'll have a pixel density of 521 pixels per inch. Compared to the iPhone 7 Plus's 401 and the iPhone 7's 326, that is a pretty significant upgrade. You know, much like going from a 3GS to the 4, this will be that big of an upgrade. And you're getting a bunch of other screen tech in there as well, possibly ProMotion, that 120 hertz refresh display. This is gonna be huge. I just can't wait for that silky smooth and crispy clear display. And this also means that Ming Chi Ko was right. Back in February, he predicted the very same resolution for the iPhone 8. He said supply chain sources, people that have actually been hands on with the device, have predicted the same 2436 by 1125 resolution. The actual resolution will be 2800 by 1242 of the overall screen. Not everything is going to be the usable screen space. Remember, Apple's going to leave some room on the bottom for this supposed function area. Now, the developer that found that resolution said it's not going to be as big of a display for your content as the iPhone 7S Plus. So if you wanted a bigger display, the iPhone 7S Plus will display your content on a bigger scale, whereas the iPhone 8 will scale it down slightly. Also referenced in that firmware is attention detection, a mysterious feature that could have something to do with your gaze. What if you're looking at your phone and it won't display notifications because it knows you're already looking at it, there's no point to notify you and make a sound. What if it's laying on a desk and it can tell if you're looking at it or not, whether or not to light up the screen, uh, just, I don't know, it could be really anything there. And it reminds me of the feature we heard about in my last video, auto sleep, where if you set your phone down, gesture wise, it'll go to sleep. Apple is really upping the gestures on the iPhone 8 as it'll have no home button, basically making that home button more obsolete. Also, two more features have been confirmed by this firmware. So the first one is inductive charging or wireless charging. It's referenced in many, many areas of this firmware and high voltage charging, which may mean fast charging. And if you look even closer at that, it says electric vehicle charging. I don't know if this is in reference to Apple's secret project where they're working on the Tesla competitor, or if this just means the new cars that come with the wireless charging pad for it to communicate with that and know it's inside of a car or something like that. And as I'm editing this video, more and more references are being found by these two developers. It's a little crazy. So I'm going to share some of those with you, but I'm sure there will be even more later on. So for now, they have discovered that the status bar is much more complex. In fact, it might not even be dynamic, be interactive, and it has a split mode. So presumably for the camera, the sensor bar in the middle of the display, it'll be able to split in between and share the information on both sides. Very interesting. There's a reference to facial recognition. The iPhone 8 may be able to detect which expression you have on your face, such as a smile, if you have dimples showing, if you're puckering your face, even a frowning. It's very interesting. I don't know what Apple could use this for, but that feature is there. And the iPhone 8 will have the tap to wake feature, also referenced within this firmware. So because of the lack of the home button, you'll need a different way to wake it up without pressing the power button every single time. And the actual home button is being referred to as home in indicator in this firmware. Same developer says that there was no indication of Apple placing a fingerprint sensor beneath the glass. So an ultrasonic sensor, any reference to that, it doesn't exist currently in this firmware, which is a sad sign, but Touch ID still does, so it may be placed somewhere else. There's evidence of an iPhone 7 S possibly within this firmware as the tag iPhone 99 has been found in there. And interesting is that Apple may be working on a 6.5 inch display of some sorts, or I don't even know what this could be used for, but there is reference to a 6.5 inch display there. And the developer himself is saying that this HomePod firmware is known as iOS 11.0.2. So Apple is already working on future versions of iOS 11 firmwares. And this gives credibility to that rumor we heard earlier where Apple may not release wireless charging and the facial recognition unlock system until a future firmware. Definitely, uh, they might be having issues with it and they're already working on the upgrade down the road that they will release, they said possibly a month after launch, much like the portrait mode for the iPhone 7 plus. And now that that design has been confirmed by Apple itself, 
Here's a very stunning visual representation by Martin Hajek. This guy's been making some concepts uh, for the iPhone for a very long time. This one is beautiful. It basically gives you that idea of how the display will look with that four millimeter bezel going all around the phone. Very stunning, many color options. We heard it might not come in white, but still can't help but think that it still looks pretty good. Of course, it blends much better with the black, but there it is. Also posted by a Weibo user, here's some sort of iPhone 8 mock-up or dummy unit that shows the physical units in white. It doesn't really flow as much as I thought it would, but still looks pretty decent to me. I would prefer the black, so it would blend seamlessly with that organic LED display. And lastly, the A11 chip Apple is making for the iPhone 8 has officially entered production. DigiTimes is reporting that TSMC will be handling all of the production of it, and uh, it's finally in full swing to be released. It's going to be the 10 nanometer chip. Should be a powerhouse. I mean, Apple's beating out all chip competitors right now in their phones, and this one should be no exception. All right, guys, there it is. What a crazy crazy update video for you. A leak that's coming from Apple themselves. Someone, someone or a lot of people are going to be losing their jobs over this as Apple has been trying to clamp down on those leaks and to have one come from themselves is quite an embarrassment I could imagine at the Apple headquarters. So anyways guys, hope you enjoyed that. Didn't imagine be making another iPhone 8 update video this soon, but there it is. Stay tuned for more. Peace.